When we found out that she had type 1 diabetes, I had expected that. I, I was the one that said to the doctor, I think she has diabetes. It was still scary and overwhelming, and you know, we had no idea what we were, what we were walking into. Managing diabetes for a three-year-old was really, really hard because she, you know, she couldn't tell us how she was feeling. The most frustrating thing with having a child with diabetes before we had the Dexcom was just never knowing what her blood sugar was. Now we can look at the Dexcom and say, she's 78, but she's steady. And so we're gonna just hold out here a little while and see if she might go up. A lot of times she does, we don't have to treat, and it really helps tighten, tighten that, that range for her, which is our ultimate, that's our ultimate goal for her, is to have you know, as tight of control as possible while still being safe and letting her be a kid. I think the Dexcom has really helped change our feelings about diabetes. Dexcom has helped her in so many ways just be a typical child. She's super active. She does cheerleading, gymnastics, dance. It has really enabled her to not let diabetes interfere with her life and with what she's doing. So it's been invaluable for that. If someone said that they were taking our Dexcom away and we would never have it again, I honestly do not know what we would do. We rely on it so much, especially at night. Not having the Dexcom, we would not sleep. Dexcom lets us rest at night. The time that I can think of that, that we were so glad that we had the Dexcom, the time that stands out the most for me is the time that she ended up having a seizure from a low blood sugar. And we had put her to bed and it was probably just 45 minutes later. So it wasn't, we wouldn't have gone to check on her for another hour or so. And it beeped, we heard it beep and we heard it beep low and we thought it was dropping. Just knowing that we would not have checked on her for at least another hour if it hadn't beeped. And the, th the thought of what could have happened. So it was after that that I had written a letter I, for my blog, but I had sent it to Dexcom just saying thank you because she is alive because of you. We're a part of the being a Dexcom warrior because it has brought so much to us. It has benefited us, it has helped and enriched her life in so many ways that we just feel like we need to share that with other people. We want everybody to have the same experience that we've had and, and have that freedom and that sense of comfort that comes along with having it. You know, we would love for everybody to, to experience that. So. That's why, that's why we're involved. That's why we, we share our story. Knowing that when I grow up, it's not gonna be that hard because I just do the same things that I'm doing right now. I'm Hallie and I'm a Dexcom warrior. My name is Avery and I'm a Dexcom warrior.